Beehive briquettes are mainly charcoal briquettes made from char and clay mud mixed in certain proportion. These are circular in shape, having diameter of 150 mm and height of 85 mm with 21 holes of 12 mm diameter. Due to the holes, it looks like beehive. Thus, the name came beehive bricket. Dried beehive bricket can be burnt in a specially made metal stove. It is placed on the grate of the stove and ignited by putting a fire below by dried wood chips. Once the bricket catches fire at the base, fire spreads uniformly and propagates upward. It produces smokeless blue flame during burning for two and a half to three hours. The calorific value of this bricket is approximately 18 to 20 megazoules per kg and emission of harmful gases are well within the permissible limit. Use of raw biomass for cooking and space heating etc resulted release of many harmful gases like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, methane, nitric oxide, nitrogen dioxide, etc. It causes health hazards, particularly in the indoor condition. Now mix two part of charcoal with one part of mud. For getting best result, the actual ratio of charcoal and mud mixture should be 70 to 30 by volume and 60 to 40 by weight. Now put the cylinder and perforated pressure plate of the mould at the base plate. Fill the cylinder with the mixture. Beat it over a wooden plank for compaction. Take out the cylinder along with the bricket from the pegs and put it upside down to release the bricket by putting pressure on the pressure plate. The briquettes are to be sun-dried for a week. After drying, it can be burnt efficiently in a beehive bricket stove. The scientists of the institute have standardized the ratio of charcoal and mud with respect to its burning efficiency, cost and emission of harmful gases. And also, the modification of the briquettes mould has been carried out to increase efficiency and comfort. Beehive bricket making is becoming more popular among the rural women mainly because of three reasons. It reduces ill effects of smoke to rural women. They found it comfortable in comparison to raw woody biomass. It provides additional income to them.